In the second part of section 5.1, we talk about how to do a simulation. The four-step process is first to ask a question of interest about the chance process you are investigating. The second one is describe how to use a chance device to imitate one repetition of the process. Types of chance of devices are flipping a coin, rolling a dice, drawing a card from a deck, uh, using random int on the calculator, or using the random digit table, table D, in the back of our book. Any of those things could be used to simulate a random occurrence. When you do your plan, you also need to tell what you will record at the end of each repetition. And this needs to be very specific in the, the plan description. We'll do an example of that in, uh, later in uh, section 5.1. Then you perform many repetitions of the process because we talked about probability is the long run behavior of a chance event. So you have to do a lot of chance events in order to see what the probability is. And then conclude, use the results of the simulation to answer the question of interest. So in order to investigate this idea of simulation, we're going to go through some book problems um, as a class and look at uh, different aspects of the simulation process. So to start out, we're going to look at problem number 13. A basketball player has a probability 0.75 of making a free throw. Explain how you would use each chance device to simulate one free throw by the player. So how could you use a standard deck of playing cards, table D of random digits, or a calculator or computer's random integer generator? Recognize that in each situation, you have to have 75% um, chance to make a free throw and 25% chance to not make a free throw. So you have to use the, the chance devices to imitate that probability. So how would we do that? Well, for the deck of cards, you would want to have 75% of the cards representing making a free throw. So you could pick three of the four suits, like diamonds, clubs, and spades, for example, to represent making a free throw, and the, the remaining hearts to represent missing a free throw. Then you would have to remember also that you replace the card and shuffle the deck each time that you draw a card. Otherwise, the probability would change slightly each time you took a card away. The second one was using the table of random digits. So how would you use that? Well, in the table of random digits, there are uh, just randomly generated digits from 0 through 9. You want to have an equally likely chance of, of having a make or a miss, or not an equally likely. You want to have 75% of the numbers represent making this free throw and, um, and the 25% representing missing. So we would use two-digit numbers, and that includes that even when you have a single digit, you put an O in front of it to make a two-digit number. So 01 through 75 could represent making a free throw, 76 through 99 and 00, zero which would represent the number 100, uh, or the number 0, either one, would represent missing the free throw. So you have 75 numbers and 25 numbers. Now another way you could do it is with single digits, you could let 1 through 6 represent making a free throw, 7 and 8 represent missing. So you'd have 6 numbers for making, 2 numbers for missing, that would give you the three-fourths and the one-fourth, and then just ignore the digits nine and zero. So that's another option. For, um, on the calculator, since you only need four, you need, a, you're looking at 25% here and 75%, you could just use four digits, and numbers one through three could represent making a free throw, and four could represent missing. Okay, the second uh, problem here we're going to look at is number 14. In this case, we have a situation where um, a woman goes through a traffic light every day, and the light has a one-third probability of being green when she gets to the intersection. How would you use a chance device to simulate whether the light is red or green? So here we're dealing with a one-third probability and a two-thirds probability. The first is a six-sided die, the second table D of random digits, and the third is a calculator. So how would we use those? So. For the dice, we could use two of the numbers on the die, like 1 and 2, to represent a green traffic light, and 3, and six to, three to 6 to represent red. On the random digit table, we could use the numbers 1, 2, and 3 to represent green, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8, 8 and 9, 
to represent red, so three numbers, six numbers, and then we'd have to ignore the tenth number. We could ignore zero. Once again, since we're only dealing with one-third probability here, we could have one represent a green light and two and three represent a red light and do random int on the calculator. So those are different ways that chance devices can be used to, to perform one repetition of a simulation.